Hey, this is Jesse here, and um, I just wanted to do a quick update on the car I bought. Um, so, basically, what I did is I traded in or sold my two, I bought a 2018 um, Toyota Camry. So, what happened is I actually um, had an Altima that I bought new in 2013. And it served me well, you know, I drove it a lot, did Ubering with it, drove it 146,000 miles. But then as the newer Altimas do, the air conditioning went and couldn't recharge and the um, <coughs> transmission was acting a little funny. So I traded it in the CarMax, got 3,500 for it, figure, and that's better than putting, you know, two or $3,000 into the air conditioning and maybe more into the transmission. You know, for, you know, air conditioning probably would have cost the minimum of $1,000 or something like that. And the transmission could have cost anywhere from three to 6,000 on those. Uh, so, I, you know, it served me well. I, I made, you know, I Ubered with that Altima and it probably, you know, made me my money back uh, when I paid for the car and plus, and took the kids to many baseball and basketball games and, you know, shopping with the family and out and, whatever else you know traveling so the car did serve me well but um you know as i started to do some more research you know i found out the toyotas and lexuses and hondas of course you know last much longer but there was a reason that i bought i i knew that you know and um somewhat so the reason i used to buy the altimas was and the um the nissans was because i could get a fully loaded altima for about five to seven thousand dollars less than a comparable Camry or Honda, so I feel like I got my money's worth. Okay, um, but what happened is I started to do more research and I ended up buying a 2018 um, Camry. It was a little teeny scratched up here and there, had about fifty nine thousand miles on it. Got it for around sixteen seventeen thousand dollars, seventeen thousand dollars out the door. Okay, license tax title registration so i'm driving that and all of a sudden you know i have my have a loan and everything 401k loan and a regular loan and i said to myself why you know we're in a pandemic here well i don't even drive it that much why am i you know having all these loans and everything so as i was looking up more cars i found out that these lexuses with the six cylinder six speed um they are supposed to be cars that drive around three to four hundred thousand miles and uh and have very little if any problems so i figured i'd give it a try so i looked for a few months i sold my um i sold the camry and um you know the camry did have an accident so i get it you know i got it cheap it wasn't a bad one but i still just didn't want to um, deal with any future problems with it it was a minor accident but still i was just like eh, that plus the you know the, the payments plus not really driving it much how can i save money but yet enjoy you know another car so i looked these up and i went on the search for these i was looking for anywhere from a 2007 to a 2000 you know 17 around that area and what i did is i i took my wife shopping to westport and all of a sudden found this car I saw it and I went up to it and it, it was it was pretty dirty and um, I couldn't tell. Um, I, well, I drove it and it drove like brand new. So I, I'll show you the interior. Um, the interior here is, you know, pretty much like brand new. I got to clean it a little. I'm going to bring it to the car wash today and vacuum it. Um, nothing wrong. Um, the seats are not cracked. The only it does have one problem these buttons here that the seat set it looks like they're stuck so i'm going to see how much that costs to fix i may fix it uh i really don't need it i set the seat to the way i want and i'm really the primary and only driver my son maybe and you know i'm going to condition the seats somewhere i started conditioning them so they stay nice and so i got some junk in the middle there and what i did it didn't have bluetooth so i got this little receiver that you plug into the uh, cigar lighter for twenty dollars and you tune it to a station that's not in your area. And what it does is it, it, it connects to the Bluetooth and plays the radio through the station and it has a charger. So I can still charge the phone. And that was one of the downfalls I was thinking about this car, not having the Bluetooth, but it, it works. And the Bluetooth for the phone works actually. And um, the other uh, 
downfall is it doesn't have a backup camera. That bothers me a little bit, but I'm getting used to it. It reminds me of the older cars, and this opens up pretty cool. It's pretty nice, a little holder in here. The seats are electric on this side. It has heated and air conditioning seats, and with the old dials here, this is the old dials. And the seats, you know, it's it's nice. The car kind of just goes, it, it, it doesn't overheat. Like in my wife's Subaru, the seats get too hot. And it's like, you know, you're just, ah. And maybe that's good because if it's freezing out and you want to warm up, you know, you put them on. But uh, the other thing I like about this is it has a six uh, disc CD player. <laughs> has this here, the, um, the cup holder in the back. You can unlock the seats and drop the seats down. The trunk is huge. And this is around 272 or 273 horsepower. A little bit of marks on the rim here. And there's a teeny small dent ding in the back, a couple chips. And maybe a little, they might have just hit something on the side here. Very slight in the door, a little crinkle. Can't, can't quite see it though, but if you back up, it looks like, you know, pretty much new. It's very minimal uh, problems, uh, no problems at all. Just that, you know, it's not even a problem. The door, I also got to get the lock to unlock the uh, wheels. Um, <clears throat> so, and here's the other drawback. You have to use premium gas. It's a six cylinder and it gets around, they're saying 18. I'm getting, I think I'm getting like 21. No, 21 is supposed to get. So that's about what I'm getting. Trunk is big. I already got my junk in it. Gotta straighten it out. Nice and big trunk, huge trunk. Dual exhaust. <clears throat> um, I like the front of this Lexus better than the newer ones. It just, I like how it's tight. It's almost like someone that doesn't have a big mouth. It's tight. It looks strong to me. I like the bumper. I like to have the bumper. Those big open mouth ones. Of course, I'm gonna take a Lexus if someone offers it to me or if I can get one cheap enough. But the reality is I like the way this one looks and I can't wait to shine it up in the spring. I'll do another video and I'll shine it up um, after a car wash. The rims are nice and subtle. Um, my son said it looked like a, uh, his, his um, cousin's Camry, 2007 Camry. I said, well, when you drive in it, you'll see. And he drove, it, drove in it and he goes, oh my God, this car is fast, dad. He's 16 years old and um, just did a quick little drive. We went around for a few miles. He's got his permit. Um, the other thing I like about this car, it has the, the sunroof and it's really nice. Um, but I got the car for $8,000. Now you can get these anywhere from like 5,700 to 12,000. I thought this is in condition of a $12,000 car. It has 94,000 miles on it. Um, I, I, you know, they were offering, they wanted 95, I got it for eight. So in essence, I got my, you know, seven, $8,000 back from the um, Camry I had. And now I just reborrowed my money from the um, 401k and I don't have any other loans. So the title should be coming to me any, any day now. So that's what's nice about it. Now it is 12 years old. Whoever owned the car before I went to Princeton University or had a kid that went there. I don't know. So these cars are on 48,000 brand new and I know why now. So I just got to keep the seats conditioned. I'm going to see if I can fix the little couple things. I might even have the dings and things fixed. I'm not sure because I just want, if I can get 50 or 60,000 miles out of this car, I'll feel like I've gotten a deal. If I can get a hundred or 200,000 more miles out of the car, I'll have made, I'll have saved a lot of money. It is comfortable, it is smooth. It is like, my wife says, like driving an airplane. I'm on the highway, people are bothering me, boom, push the gas on it and it just goes. Um, again, uses premium gas or mid-grade or premium. And, uh, but it gets around 27,000, 27 miles to the gallon on the highway. So there's my story um, that the, even, you know, you can feel the quality, even that the steering wheel just feels high quality. But I think the owner probably started um, seeing little things, you know, going on. And supposedly it was an older lady that owned it. Um, it does not drive like an older lady's car. This drives like a race car. It is fast. It is strong. And it feels solid inside. And I like the subtle look of it. 
uh, I just like not being too uh, noticed. That's why I like, you know, my car. Um, you know, one day maybe I'll get a fancy car that everybody notices, but right now I kind of like to be subtle. I don't like to be noticed. And I like just, it just feels like cozy in this car. Not big windows and, you know, it, I don't know. I wish that Lexus kept this design and maybe just worked worked on it a little bit a little bit of changing you know maybe maybe a little more sporty or something um because i almost want to get another one of these just because i like how small the front grill is and how big the bumper is so that's my story and um hope you like it if if i can get another one of these for a similar price i probably will and then you know when my son gets his full license, we'll each have one. I feel he'll be safe in this. He's got to be careful not to drive too fast. Uh, I love this car. It's a very high performance car. One of the other things is in the engine. I'll show you a couple of the, there's these plastic, um, these plastic things that kind of make it look like, you know, like there's no components in the engine that the Lexus has. This is missing a couple, which I don't care because you don't need them anyway. They just, they just, uh, the mechanics just they're in their way. They're like, what are these in here for? Let's see if I can open this up. All of a sudden I'm having an issue. Oh, there it is. It's all the way to the right. Um, still looks good to me. I got to clean the engine up. I'll, I'll do a video when it's everything's clean. This is of course just a plastic cover. I love that it has these. I'm probably going to replace these. It has a teeny bit of rust here. I'm not in a hurry because they're working good. Um, I'll probably have this steam cleaned. And, you know, I've got to still have a mechanic, you know, look over, make sure I'm not needing anything like brakes. It doesn't feel like I do. Um, and, uh, you know, it doesn't have that plastic cover to make it everything look smooth, which I don't care. I could always replace those if I wanted to, but it's not a show car, so it's an enjoy car. Um, I highly recommend this. I looked at the Scotty Kilmer's videos, and he is the one who kind of, you know, swayed me into looking at these Lexuses. Um... I am even interested in an older one, if I could find one in good condition. Um, but I'm in around the five to $10,000 range. If anybody sees another one of these, let me know if it's in really excellent condition and under 100,000 miles, there's a good chance I might buy another one. Okay, so that's my Lexus video. Um, I listened to some mechanics like Scotty Kilmer and a couple other ones, and they swear by these cars, the six cylinder transmission, and the six, I mean, the six speed transmission and the six cylinder engine are supposed to be pretty much bulletproof and last a long time. If I can get two, 300,000 miles out of this, if I keep it that long, you know, who knows, someone might want to buy it and make me a profit off this. I'm not sure. But if that can make this last two, 300,000 miles, I can't see why, you know, I would even think of buying a 50 or $100,000 electric car. You're not going to save anything on there. Those are just show pieces. Um, I like making money and saving money, not, you know, spending and being, um, you know, overly, uh, not cautious with my money basically. So I think this is a good deal. Um, I'll pay a little more for gas and hopefully, you know, maybe if it lasts without too many repairs, I'll have made a good deal. We'll see. It is a chance when you buy a used car, but right now this car feels like it is driving like new. And goodness, you know what, Lexus, those grills are freaking ugly that go to the ground. I'll get one I mean, because the car is just nice inside, but that grill to the ground, I think you're just cheapifying your brand. And, you know, I know the, I think I know the reason, you know, the bumper is there and you hit the bumper and um, basically you replace the bumper a couple thousand bucks, two, three thousand bucks, I'm guessing. You hit the grill, that's, you know, two or three thousand dollars, but it's going to, hit the engine as well. So, you know, maybe they figured some safety thing where the engine goes under the car better or something. And maybe the more airflow keeps the engine cooler in the summer. I don't know. I just like the way this looks. It looks safer to me. It looks, you know, but it's probably not because newer, they have better technology. And um, the good thing about this car that had, that it was that old, 12 years old, that the uh, lights were not um, fogged up. So I thought that was cool. Another cool thing about this car, the lights actually follow the direction I'm turning. So if you turn right, the lights actually turn right. If you turn left, the lights turn left. Very cool and um, very helpful when I'm driving. And I, I never had a car with fog lights either. And that's pretty cool. So there's my video review of the Lexus 2009 Lexus ES350. Um, 
I am definitely a Lexus fan right now. We'll see if it gives me any problems and how the air condition works in the summer. I am definitely a Lexus fan right now. I love the subtle wheels that this car has. This, it, to me, is almost like the perfect car. Powerful, decent gas mileage, comfortable. It glides. I mean, you take your foot off the gas and you're coasting. It's not like no resistance. So anybody interested, you know, or sees any out there, give me, uh, give me a buzz or a message and I'll check the car out. I don't care if it's across the country. If I can get another one of these, I would get one right away. Have a good day, everybody. There's my review on the Lexus.